Your challenge schedule is in the description down below. Just click the link and get your schedule. For this class, you might need a blanket or something similar. Before getting into our practice, please subscribe to my channel so we can keep practicing. Also, please give it a thumbs up. It supports my channel a lot. Grab your things, let's meet on the mat. Welcome, let's start by standing on our feet and folding forward. Find your half standing forward fold here. Feet are at hip distance and bend your knees. Grip through your toes. Find that long spine and long neck here. Palms on the thighs. Maybe put a little gentle push on your thighs while hugging the ribs in. Navel slightly in. Engage the glutes. Start feeling the activation on our legs, on our butt are turning on. Feel your feet sucking the mat. Quadriceps are turning on, glutes are turning on here. Don't curve your spine but try to maintain it long and try to close this gap between your thigh and the belly while maintaining the back straight. You are going to feel that your body is getting warm. Start working. Your muscles are start working right now. Bring your awareness on your breath here. Inhale deeply through your nostrils. With an exhale, maybe fold a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale, maybe a little bit more. Palms reach to shins or maybe even on your mat. Fingertips or palms, always trying to maintain the back long. Don't curve your spine. If you curve your back, you are going to lose the opening sensation at the back part of your legs that we don't want. So try to maintain the back, the spine long. Just get closer with your belly to your thighs. Respect your body, listen to your body and be patient. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift your body to half. And now here, bring your left foot slightly forward and the right one slightly back. Left toes pointing forward while right toes pointing slightly <clears throat> to the right side. Again, inhale here. 
Navel slightly in, squeeze that butt to get these hip bones in line. Suck the mat with your toes, with your feet. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Maybe your palms on your thigh today. Maybe on your shin. Maybe fingertips on the mat. Maybe palms on the mat. It doesn't matter where you are today. The thing that matters is your effort today. So just inhale and exhale. Enjoy this practice here. Enjoy these moments on your mat. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Inhale, lift your upper body slightly up. Rotate your chest while walking with your fingertips to your right side to find your wide-legged forward fold. You can maintain your knees bent. Don't rush into anything. Listen to your body. And inhale one more time. And exhale, this time turn to your right side. Right toes pointing forward, left toes pointing slightly to the, this time, left side of your body. Again, inhale. First check all those activations, those alignments. Squeeze the butt, get those hip bones in line. Suck the mat with your feet. Find that long spine and the neck. And then exhale, fold without curving your spine. Always imagining reaching forward with the crown of your head. With exhale, get closer with your belly to your thigh. Imagine that, actually it's, some, it's a little action that you can do here to get those hip bones in line. Imagine that you are pulling the right leg bone to your hip second and pushing the left hip bone forward. You are going to see the difference and you are going to feel the opening sensation a little bit more here. Inhale. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Lift your upper body to the halfway and then with exhalation, again, find your wide legged forward fold here maybe swing your head from side to side a little neck movement here and one more time inhale to the halfway exhale once again left toes pointing forward this time increase the length of your position maybe Walk a little bit forward with your left foot and the right foot go a little back and find this lunge here. Don't drop your knee yet, but just rock your body forward and backward here. Forward and backward. You can decide the size of this movement. Maybe little rocks, maybe bigger. Your body knows exactly what it needs. All you need to do is listen and be respectful and be loving towards your body. And then find a steady lunge here. Drop your right knee to your mat. Balance and then palms 
on the thigh. Inhale, with exhalation, sink down with your hips. To get this position a little bit more, to feel a little bit more comfortable, I like to do this movement first. Inhale, lift the knee, exhale down. Inhale, lift the knee, exhale down. Inhale one more time and exhale down. Now your body is a little bit more comfortable, I guess, in this position. And from here, you can bring your right palm at your lower back to push your right hip bone slightly forward and push a little, put a little push on your thigh as well. This is also going to help you find this squared hips here and will increase the opening on your right hip flexors as well. Inhale and exhale deeply. Breathing always helps. Don't forget to breathe here. Bring your right fingertips or your palms underneath your right shoulder tip while pulling the foot towards your butt. You can maintain here, or if you can, you can hold your foot and pull it towards your butt cheek. The, in, the important, actually like, the thing that you should take attention here, don't drop your left knee to the side. We are not aiming to open our hips here, but we are trying to find that stretching on our right quadriceps. So just try to squeeze your body towards your midline here. Inhale and exhale always deeply. If you are searching for more, you can bring your forearm on your mat and sink down a little bit more here. Left foot rooted down on the mat. I am not lifting my foot or opening the hip. Please take attention to that. If your body is not ready to get here, Hold it here or maybe even here, or maybe even here. Just listen to your body. First, let go of your foot. Tuck your toes, lift your upper body, and then shift your hips over your knee level, right knee. And one more time, inhale, with exhalation, fold forward. From here, inhale, point the toes, exhale, pull. Inhale, point, exhale, pull. Keep doing this movement here and always take attention to square the hips. So it's like you are pulling the left leg bone towards your hip socket while pushing the right one forward. Inhale, point, exhale. Inhale, point, hold it here and maybe go a little bit down with your body. Again, without curving the spine, always reach through your spine, through the crown of your head, forward. And then one more time, find your low lunge. Now, prepare your blanket. If it's far away, get it close. Because now we are going to get into our 
splits. Slowly, step by step. First, go backward with your right foot and find this position, find the point that you can go the farthest. And then wiggle, let's, you see, wiggle your front foot forward. Maybe you are here, perfect, enjoy. Just breathe in and out here. If you can go a little bit down, you can adjust your blanket. First, maybe start with a thick one and put it under your thigh or butt cheek, wherever you feel comfortable and maybe sit on your blanket here. Untuck the right toes and find this position. Find the comfortable position. And what I mean comfortable is the position that you can hold for a while. And from here, again, we are going to do the same thing with our toes. Inhale, point, exhale, pull. Inhale, point, exhale, pull. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, hold it here. You can again do the same thing that we did in lunge, during the lunge. What is that is right palm goes on the lower back and putting a gentle push, gentilissimo push on the right lower back and push your thigh away from your body while trying to hug the ribs in because we don't want to get into a back bend here and just hold. Inhale and exhale. You can also try to bring palms on the thighs, the opposite thighs and get into this front splits to wrist. I do enjoy this position. It helps a lot to square the hips and twists are always my favorite. So inhale and exhale. Your body is not used to this position. So your mind is telling you to go away, get out of this position. It's totally normal. You should calm your mind, tell your brain that it's okay with, by using your breath. If you control your breath, breathe in and out deeply and calmly, your mind is going to understand that it's okay and tell your muscles, relax. So breathing, actually do matters, does matters. <laughs> and then very gently and slowly. First, use your hands and lift your butt up. Slide your front foot backward and maybe go a little bit forward with the back foot. Find this lunge here. Put your blanket to the other side of your mat because we are going to go there. And here, lift your butt up and get into your wide-legged forward fold one more time here. Maybe inhale deeply through your nostrils and exhale it out through your mouth. <sighs> and then inhale, lift your body to halfway. With an exhale, turn your body to your right side. This time right toes pointing forward and left foot at the back part of our mat. Again, adjust the length of this position. You can 
increase the length here to find your lunge and then start rocking your body forward and backward forward and backward forward and backward again you decide the size of this rocking movement here maybe small ones maybe even bigger ones maybe with by extending the leg why not you are the boss of your own practice do whatever feels good but at the end let's meet at the steady high lunge first and then drop your knee Find your balance and then palms go on your front thigh. To get in this position a little bit more, let's inhale, lift the knee up, engaging the glutes, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale one more time up exhale down and find this low lunge here bring your left palm at your lower back to put a gentle push and push your right thigh away from your body increase the stretching increase the feeling the sweet pain on our hip flexors here. Whoops. And now bring your fingertips or maybe your palm underneath your left shoulder tip while pulling the foot towards your butt cheek here. Hold it here. Maybe you can hold your foot, grab your foot and pull towards your butt. You are going to feel the opening on your quadriceps here. Again, a reminder, don't drop the front knee to the side. Don't lose the activation on your right foot. Suck the mat, squeeze your body towards your midline. If you are searching for more, go down on your forearm here. First, let go of your foot and drop it to your mat. Then, shift your hips over your knee. Here, again, pull your right leg bone towards your right hip socket while pushing the left one forward to square the hips. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward maybe you are here maybe a little down it doesn't matter where you are today just enjoy your process enjoy your practice and let's start inhale point to toes exhale pull inhale point to toes exhale pull inhale and exhale inhale and exhale inhale exhale inhale hold it here maybe go a little bit downward with your upper body without curving the spine try to maintain your neck and your spine long and then one more time let's get into our low lunge prepare your blanket because we are going to get into our front splits on this side 
First, walk with your back foot slightly backward and find this, find the point that you can go forest and then start wiggling your front foot forward. Maybe you are here. Also, you can put this rocking movements here to get your body used to this position. Prepare your blanket, adjust the thickness for your level of the day and then slowly go down, down, down and place yourself on your blanket. Find the comfort in this discomfort and inhale, point the toes, exhale, pull. Inhale, point, exhale, pull. Inhale and exhale. One more time, you can bring your palm on your lower back and the other one on your right thigh and put a gentle push, both of them, to scare the hips, to increase the feeling, to align your body and find point toes, hold here. Maybe again, rotate your chest to your right. Palms go to opposite thighs and get into this twist here. You can close your eyes and put a smile on your face. It helps to calm your mind, to release the tension in our bodies, to ease the resistance that our body creates right now. When you close your eyes, you eliminate the sight, which helps you to bring your awareness on your breath easier. Send your breath to those areas you feel the opening. Last deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Very gently, if you are, if you were in your twist, get out of the twist. First, lift your butt slightly up, slide your front foot backward and tuck the toes of your back foot. Put your blanket to the side, lift your knee, find this high lunge here and last time rotate your body and get into your white legged forward fold. Do whatever feels good here, maybe pedal your feet. Maybe swing your body from side to side. Whatever you are doing, let's inhale through our nostrils. Exhale it out loudly through our mouth. One more time, deep inhale. And exhale loudly. Inhale, lift your body to the halfway, rotate your body to your left, keep rotating, bend your knees and find this cross-legged sting position. Thank you for joining this practice. Don't forget to get your schedule, it's in the description down below. See you soon! 
Thank you for joining me one more time. By the way, I am a jewelry designer as well. I design and craft my jewelry by using silver wire and sometimes some semi-precious gemstones. If you want to check them out, I will be happy to blend my magic into yours. Wish you a beautiful rest of your day. If you haven't subscribed, of course subscribe and please give it a thumbs up. See you on the next time. I'm sending lots of love light and of course magic